How's it going YouTube? In today's video, we'll be looking at 7 Zara tips in under 2 minutes. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy content like this. And if you enjoyed this video or these tips helped you, hitting the like button would mean a lot to me. But let's get into it. Tip number 1. No matter if you're playing mid or support as Zara, throwing out your W first allows it an easier time to land your Q. Your W ability is a lot easier to land, and also applies a slow. With the slow, if you throw your Q directly at them, it's almost impossible to dodge. Tip number 2. Using Zerath passive on the minion. Even though you only get half the effect of your mana passive on an auto attacking minions instead of champions, being in attack range of a champion is putting you at too much risk. You always want your passive to be on cooldown. Tip number 3. Doing small trades as Zerath. Zerath is very much a cooldown dependent champion, so doing long extended fights is not in his best favor. So once you do your WQ combo, make sure to back away and don't continue fighting. Number 4. The only time you really want to use E during laning phase is if you're going for the kill. Other than that, you want to make sure your E is off cooldown. If you're using your E a lot, you'll find yourself running out of mana quite fast and when your stun is on cooldown, the enemy will use this opportunity to chase you down. Tip number 5. Utilizing Xerath's range. Xerath is one of the longest poke mages in the game. As you can hit people from screens away, you really want to utilize his range, as you can do trades without taking any damage from the enemy champion. Tip number 6. Playing to scale. Xerath is a very hard scaling champion and excels in the mid to late game, so you don't need to ever feel like you're forced to make early game plays as you should feel comfortable just going even in the early game. Tip number 7. If you're facing a tankier team, you should like to go Leandre Voice Staff instead of Loot in the Shadow Flame. The reason you want to do this, the flat magic pen actually falls off really hard when you're facing a team with magic resist. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of this new style of video, if I should do more like this or if I should go back to the old way of doing it. I do stream every single day over on Twitch. You can see the link down below. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.